In this tutorial, we're going to see this Dali out painting and then make images that look like this. So we basically took this image, which is a water lily pond by Monet. And then we're going to make that image. We're going to translate that image. We're going to expand this image into these images. And you can see all these images look quite realistic. You can see the only the center part stays here. But that is also because, you know, you can you can see me changing it. But otherwise you would see this entire thing like a piece of art in the same style as Monet. And I'm going to show you how to do this in this particular video. We're going to use DALI OpenAI out painting, image editing um, or out painting as popularly known among AI artists. So we're going to see how to do that. The first thing that you need to understand is for you to do this, you're going to lose credit. And every image expansion that you're going to do, every image out painting that you're going to do, you're going to lose credit. So keep that in mind before you proceed further. For example, in my case, I've got a triple one, like 111 credits. And you would see that after I generate my first image, I would lose one credit. So any single action that you take, you're going to lose one credit. Now, let me show you starting from the DALI landing page. So when you go to DALI landing page, this is basically what you would see. One, you can upload an image and then get into the outpainting screen or simply you can go click your profile details and then see try outpainting. So you can click outpainting here as well. When you click outpainting, then you would see the open image editor and you would also see that currently it isn't beta. It's not fully fully formed. Um, my hunch is that they had to release this because stable diffusion was blowing up like anything. So maybe that is why one of the reasons they released it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm I've already downloaded the water lily image and what you need to keep in mind is the generation frame that you have is 1024 by 1024 so 1024 by 1024 it's a square image so always remember to fit your image within this because that is important for you for example if I want an image that already fills half of the image for example I'll show you an image I've got uh, the Batman image from Robert Pattinson so this is you can see the height here is 1024 but the width is not so if i use this image then i'm going to ideally fill in the rest of the image so this is how i'm going to do or if i want an image that is going to spread everywhere like i said like the the water lily pond then i can put that image on top of this for example let me first let me first refresh this reload it upload this image and now you can see if I keep this image here and then do it, then I can fill in that image. Either I can fill it or I can, you know, I can fill the rest of the part. Like it's 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 actually up to me. How do I move the generation frame? For you to do out painting, you can do it in two ways. One, you can erase a part of the image and then ask Dali to expand it to that. Then the new image will be of the same size of previous image. But on the other hand, you can add a generation frame that looks like this and then you can fit an image inside it and you can expand it using DALI. So again, just to just to be clear, one, what you can do is if you have a generation frame, the generation frame would be 1024 by 1024. You can fit the image in any of this frame and then ask DALI to expand it or the other option is you can upload an image and then erase a part of that image and then you can expand it but that way you would stick to the images dimension you cannot control the dimension so what i am going to do is i'm going to go with the generation frame so i've got a generation frame here i'm going to upload the water lily and i'm going to keep the water lily somewhere in the middle here on my screen so that it's easier for me to have it in the middle of the generation frame to place it here and now i can move around the generation frame so i can i can either keep it like this i can keep it like this i can do anything so i'm going to keep it in the center so after i keep it in the center now you know our image is ready for expansion but still you need to give a prompt so in the prompt you can say what you want the bigger image to be the expanded image to be i'm going to say water lily pond i'm not specifying the style i'm not specifying anything but i'm just going to call it water lily pond i'm going to click generate
now as you can see the image generation or expansion or out painting has been completed and you can see that i have 110 credits at the start i had 111 credits now one credit has been done for one credit you get to get four options at this point this is the first option the second option third option and the fourth option so now in these four options you can basically pick one of the options that you find more fitting so if you ask me this 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 i some of like this because you know it has got um, it has got water and all the other things so i'm going to pick this image and then select accept now you can you can save the image you can just save as and then basically save the image so that um, you can you can get the image in itself so that is it this is basically dali out painting and just to quickly reiterate you can do out painting two different ways one you can erase part of an image and then extend ask dali to out paint or you can create a frame of 1024 by 2024 and then you can fit another image inside the frame and then ask dali to out paint it for you every time you are going to out paint you are going to lose a credit just keep that in mind and i hope this was helpful to you in uh, learning how to do DALI out painting.